stuff. So uh, if y'all don't mind giving me one second, y'all please share it real quick to all the sippers. Um, and if you're not a sipper, don't worry about it. You can stick around or leave or whatever it is, but it's gonna be some sipper talk real, real quick. This is all I saw I want y'all to do as well um, for me. I want my um, admins, don't kick nobody. Don't kick nobody. Don't kick nobody. But share it to the sippers real, real quick. All right, check it out. What's going on, y'all? Let's get into it. In case y'all didn't know, I am shaky. I am the president of Sip Nation. Uh, Sip Nation, as y'all don't, if y'all don't know, y'all are going to find out real quick. Was a brand. Thank you. Thank you, babe. Thank you. Even though I said no gifts. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. But if y'all do want to send something, please just get it back with a treasure or something because I know that's what y'all like to do. All right. So let me tell y'all something. Sip Nation started in 2018. On another platform. It's not something that was born here on Beagle. It's not something, and I refuse to let it be something that dies here on Beagle. That's not what we is, and that's not what we do. Let me address somebody real, real quick. I have to address this person because it is just getting to the point where I am so sick of people with so many lies about nothing. Okay? And if, so you understand what it is. I had the privilege, and I say esteemed privilege, of listening to some faggot by the name of King David, who I have don't know, don't care about, and don't even think about, won't think about past this motherfucking conversation, discuss tenets of my foundering of Sip Nation. And I want to clarify something for you real motherfucking quick, real quick. For this sissy to be a founder, he filled out an application and sent it to him on the app. For me to be a founder, I started something and built it from the motherfucking ground up. Don't fucking tell me something that you don't motherfucking live. And so for me, a grown ass man, to listen to another grown ass man tell me what the fuck I should do, I wish the fuck I would. I'm shaking. This sissy sit on here, sit on this motherfucking app every day, tell my scam class and all the fuck you ever taught a bitch was trying to do was to get a motherfucking Obama phone. The fuck? That scamming? Bitch, you sit up there with that dust ass MacBook from 1992 that nobody rocking no more, and you talking about teaching scam class? Sister, this ain't what the fuck your dirty, dusty ass want. Punk, you not on my level. Understand that. Bitch, if you put in shaky name on the motherfucking Google, you go, something about me gonna come up. If you put King David on the Google, bitch, the Bible gonna come up, ho. The fuck? Sit your dust ass down. Everybody. Everybody been in, in, in super presence to come up. Brandon, me, Lo, Charlie, even, was everybody except you. You the only motherfucker, you the only motherfucker he couldn't help or what? Bitch, you sit your dust ass down. You are a flop. You don't know, know anything about being a founder. You don't know anything about being a person. You know, you, all you know about sitting on a computer and telling a bitch how to get a fucking Obama phone in 2021. Bitch, I'm talking to you on like iPhone 13. The fuck you talking about scamming? Scam class. You a dirty, dusty sister with no content. And let me tell you something, explain something. So the person that you was sitting on that motherfucking live with, her name is Shelly Legs. I know it's Rochelle because I've been knowing her for years. She followed me over here. So the reason she's in your family now is because she followed me over here. The reason she's a the reason she's a motherfucking host now is because I told her to be a host. You know why? Because as a founder, I wanted my girls to win. It's made no sense for them to be on an app invested in me and not get some type of return. So the first thing I did was tell them, y'all all pay attention to this. Look at the members of Sip Nation. Look at them. Every last single one of them in a different agency. You know why? Because it's strategy, bitch. That's about being a founder. Since you want to talk some shit. And on, on, on this app, you cannot give in the same agency. So I put all my girls in the city. I got Brandon. Brandon won't give me $1,000 a person I print. You got mother, you got, you got fucking Robin won't bring me, give me, Robin's still trying to give me money for Finette. For, put, put, it was, but it was just your name was just on it. Shannon, give me money. Here. For referring people to their agency. You know why I refer everybody to the same agency? Because it didn't make sense for them. I want y'all to win. It made sense for me. It'll put money in my pocket because they want to give me money to just refer to their agency. But it don't make sense for my girls. So it's like, fuck the money I want my girls to win. All y'all going to do for the agency because all y'all going to get for each other. Why you have 
motherfucking Gemini in one agency, Shell in another agency, this one in China agency, this one, it's strategic. Stop buying buy diamonds one at a time. Pull that money together and buy it yourself. Make one page that gifts to everybody. And you can use the VIP press for the page. That page, the Sip Nation page, you can use the VIP press in case somebody get banned or something. It's called fucking strategy. That's a fucking founder. That's what a founder do. A founder want him and his people to fucking win. Not sit down there and take their shields. And teach them how to get an Obama phone. Bitch, you and me on two different levels. Don't even call yourself a founder in comparison to shaking, bitch. That's what the fuck you not gonna do. It's never been a time I ain't teach my girls about credit, about business, about starting their shit. Have one-on-one -on -one consultations with them about real fucking shit. The girls I fuck with, I love them to death. They CEOs. They own business. They motherfucking, they got managerial jobs. This is what the fuck they do. It's success that's inherent in Sip Nation. S Sip Nation? Yeah, we talk about it stand for a teacup. Bitch, it stands for success in person. That's what the fuck you get over here. So before I let you see, you can talk about me. Yeah, I'm fat, I'm ugly, I'm nasty, I'm all this other good shit that you want to say. But what you're not going to do is play with Sip Nation. Because bitch, you're not on their level. Stop fucking thinking that. Let's talk about it. You is nothing. What's up, nephew? I see you. You are nothing. Nobody, you're the scum of the earth. You don't qualify to sweep up in Sip Nation motherfucking office, bitch. The fuck is you talking about? All my girls is winning. And if they don't win, it's their choice. And let me tell you about choices because we're going to talk about Shelly Lance right now. See, I had the privilege of meeting this woman at a time in her life when something was going on. She told me this. And because of, what, because of my humor, because of my candor, and because of my transparency as a founder, and since you will tell me what I should do as a founder, because of that, she endeared herself to me. The worst thing in the world I had to do was sit down and listen to her for an hour, talk to your faggot ass about motherfucking what the fuck a brand is. Bitch, Google shake it, and you're going to see what a brand is. Google Sip Nation, something going to come about us. You bitches don't qualify to be on my level. You don't. This this is this the newest MacBook I got it the day I come the day it come out. I got it on live. This is not MacBook, this is the newest iPad. Motherfucker, you sitting on there on a duck in 1992 motherfucking MacBook. That that bitch, you what you got a gigabyte in that bitch? The fuck do you even got Wi-Fi on that motherfucker? King David, sit your stupid ass down, sus Miss Mamas. You a dusty faggot and not on my level. Bitch, look at my computer system in comparison to yours. You I didn't teach the scam class. Not you, Miss Mamas. Th that's my computer system. I'm gonna let you look at it real quick. This is my system. That's my system. My system could find your fucking blood type, bitch. The fuck is you talking about? That's my system. I'm talking to, bitch, you talk a bitch how to get out of Obama phone. And motherfuckers say, you are flop. You are flunky and you are nobody. You are nothing. And to have, and listen, and this will hurt me. Not the fact that I'm listening to Shelly, listening to Shelly Lance agree with you when you're talking about, I don't have a brand in Sip Nation, not like that. What fucks me up is that she's following a fucking duck. What we never did in Sip Nation was be no motherfucking followers. Shelly, you didn't cut it. I'm disappointing you for that and for that alone. Because, bitch, we ain't never been no ducks over here in Sip Nation. If it don't make sense, it don't fly. You are following a duck. That makes you a duck. That makes you a double duck. A dollar duck, daffy duck, daisy duck, 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 goose. That's what the fuck you are. If you follow this flock, 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 flop ass bitch. Drop that badge. I'd rather you be by your goddamn self. You follow a duck. And said, that's hurt my feelings. That mean you ain't learned a bitch ass thing from me. In the years you've been around me, you ain't learned. Don't follow a motherfucking duck. God damn. This motherfucking quacking. And you follow it. This mighty duck looking bitch. This bitch should go play hockey. The fuck you talking about? Shelly. So listen. Let me tell you something. I'll sit next to you. Here. Check it out. <laughs> in every sense of the world, what Sip Nation is as a family, they had an issue. In Sip Nation. Where they have some of them over here. I'm going to call them by name. Fuck all that. I do that. I ain't no scary bitch. None of them bitches could beat me up. Fanet, Nola, Deja, they click versus Unique, Shelly, and Jemai. They click. And everybody else picking sides down the middle. That's the two clicks. They had Sip Nation. First of all, Shelly, you were the one who was instrumental in all that. That's, let's be honest with you. So while you're going over there to tell David what they didn't do to you or what they did to you, you, you forgot to tell him you was instrumental in that. Let's not forget about that. You were pivotal in that. And before you say, I didn't have your back, you're lying. Because the one thing I do say about Sip Nation is you, you don't talk about people's kids. And I kicked the bitch out for talking, for, for, for allegedly talking about yours. And I owe her apology. Or more, I'm sorry you could come back if you want to. 
I don't know where you're at. I don't know if you're still on the app. I don't know what's going on. But more, if you see that, you can come back. Because at the end of the day, shit, it couldn't cut it. You're following a duck. You want to be a duck. I'm going to treat you right one. Pluck the duck. That's all I know. If I see a duck, I pluck him. I'm a real life scammer. If I see somebody that won't give it to me, I'm going to take it. The fuck? Or more, I'm sorry. Because at the end of the day, this is what I know. Instrumental and pivotal to in that beef was that. I owe people apologies. I do. Because one thing about it, Shaken never did say he was a motherfucking perfectionist. I said I'm going to do the best I could, but I didn't say I was perfect. Nola, I owe you apology. Fernando, I owe you one. Gemini, unique. I owe y'all all apologies too. Jojo, I owe you apologies because at the end of the day, what I didn't do was pluck the duck soon enough. I should have been got Shelly up out of here. I should have been let her go and go be the duck that she want to be with the ducks that she want to be and go do what the fuck she want to do any day of the week. I should have let her go quack with Donald Days and Daff and all of them and, and send her fucking ass on. And so for that, I'm sorry. And I owe y'all an apology for that and I hope y'all accept that because I've been saw this duck. I been saw this bitch quacking. I just ain't do nothing about it because I thought there was hope for this motherfucker. But guess what? Obama had hope. Bitch, I ain't got nothing. The fuck? So I apologize to y'all for that. Let the duck go be with the duck and quack like a duck. Because what we'll do over here is we not ducks. Listen to me, people. Sip Nation is not a family that's going to hold your hand. Sip Nation is not a family that's going to pat you on the motherfucking back. You are not a duck. If you, if, if you think that, then you, are not, you can't cut it. Drop your badge. You have to be tough. Like life is. You have to be perseverant like life is. Yes, I'm going to give you tools. Yes, I'm going to give you gems. Yes, I'm going to be by your side. But at the end of the day, I can't cross the road for you. You got to cross it yourself. And, and the Bible talk about it ain't going to be easy. And if you're looking for easy, this ain't the one for you. Sip Nation ain't easy. Never said it was. Who said it was going to be easy? Sip Nation is rough. Sip Nation is rugged. Sip Nation is real. That real is grit. So at the end of the day, when you cross that motherfucking street, you know you've been through something, you mean something to you. So the fact that Shelly couldn't cross the fucking street is not my fucking fault because I give her the tools to do it. Look both ways. Watch for the signs. Get out the way of the car and you want to stand in the middle of that song you. Run through the freight train. But you want to sit up there and talk about Sip Nation. I don't care about you talking about Shaky. Fuck Shaky. But you want to talk about Sip Nation? You couldn't cut it in Sip Nation. You couldn't cut it in Sip Nation. Sip Nation, don't give a fuck. Sip Nation will stand you in your face, bitch. I done been called fat by every bitch on this app. And I stand in my face and I read them bitches back. Because it's an app. It's not real. I can turn the motherfucker off. You sit up there and get in your feelings about a, what a bitch you ain't never met in life. And that you never gonna meet life gonna say, what the fuck I look like? The fuck? You can't cut it. If you in your feelings and you need a motherfucker to hold your hand and pat you on the back and give you a fucking hug, this Sip Nation ain't for you. Actually, you on the whole wrong app. Beagle not for you. Because you come to the messiest motherfucker. When you met me on IG, I was the messiest motherfucker alive. I'll be messing with everybody. I was miserable. I wasn't happy. So I didn't want nobody else to be. I was the messiest motherfucker alive. That's how the fuck you found me. Anybody on this motherfucker app found me telling a story about some fucking body. Or cussing out somebody. Or talking about somebody. So you met the messiest motherfucker in the world. And you followed him to the messiest app on the world. And you expected Roses and Mr. Rogers and fucking Sesame Street. Bitch, you fucked up. Not me. You're fucked up. Not me. You're fucked up. I ain't do nothing wrong. So if you coming on a Sip Nation. And you looking for <laughs> light and fluffy and cotton candy. And all this motherfucking food gays ass shit. Wasting your fucking money. See, because I'm. this is what I'll do. What's up, bam? This is what I'll do. See, my girls tell me somebody talk about them. I say, you ain't doing enough. Because that means they, you ain't, you need to get them, you need to be able to scream about you. Talk about me ain't enough, bitch. You got to scream about me. I'm going to give you something to fucking talk about. Because guess what? The more you talk, the more money I'm going to make. The more you talk, the more money I'll make. So at the end of the day, Sip Nation ain't worried about no bitch talking about him. Fuck, we gonna do more for them to talk about. Oh, they talked about me because I got a biz? Bitch, that mean I need to go get a motherfucking spaceship. They talked about me because I got a house? Bitch, that mean I gotta go get a mansion. They ain't talking and they ain't doing nothing unless they screaming about you. So at the end of the day, if they talk about you, you ain't doing your motherfucking job. You ain't doing your fucking job if they talk about you. I want them bitches screaming about me. I ain't even on this app. I ain't been on this app in a month. But I'll be damned if I don't make sure my name ain't be ringing like a, like a motherfucker. 
I'll be damned if I don't do something. They say, oh shit, oh, oh, they not happy when I'm with Brian. I might go buy that nigga a car. Fuck it. Just a big them bitches, man. You got to scream about me. I want y'all to talk about how fat and stupid my. What kind of car you want, bitch? What kind of car you want? Right in the motherfucking thing. You got a Lexus is bad on gas. What you want? Put it in the thing. You want a Camaro or something? I'm going to get that motherfucker. Because I want the motherfuckers to scream and talk about how stupid I am. And I can laugh at how stupid they is. Oh, you want too much? You want a seven series BMW? I ain't got that. No, man. <laughs> now you want to play. Now see, look. You go ahead too far. Get you something American. Like a charge or something. <laughs> Packed it up. Packed it up. Packed it up. I ain't living like that. I ain't living like that. You better see. You better see. You better see. <laughs> it's a charger. 300. A dart. <laughs> Packed it on up. <laughs> Yeah, you going too far. Back that up. Let me tell you something. Okay? Sip Nation is the closest on this app you gonna get to a family because we're the closest to you gonna get to real fucking life. And let me tell you why. Because we don't sugarcoat a bitch ass thing. We don't hold your hand. If your mama, if my mama, if my, every time my brothers and them will pick it on me, my mama come out there and hold my hand, I'll really be a sissy for real. I'll be worse than a faggot like, like, I'll be worse than a faggot like King David. So scared and self and insecure with himself, he can't even really cam up for y'all. So dusty and trapped, he can't even really cam up for you. He teach you a scam class that came and came up for you and let you look at his face. But see, my fat ass, because my mama didn't, because she let me be out there and she let my brother pick on me and I had to get with him one day, you know why? I'm the toughest punk alive. I was able to not only handle jail, but the streets of motherfucking New Orleans, Louisiana, during the time when it was the murder capital of the world. Bitch, you can't tell me or nothing. I ain't afraid of none of you bitches. On the internet talking about me? That's the least you, that's the most you could do? Bitch, you would never say that to my face because, bitch, I would stomp a mud hole in you. So I'm not going to be the type of founder that's going to hold a bitch hand. Oh, shake it. Tell him stop talking about me. Oh, shake it. Tell him do this. Oh, shake it. I'm not. No. Bitch, talk about their ass back or drop your badge and get the fuck off the app because that's what the fuck they do. Sip Nation do the fuck they want to do. I'm not their motherfucking parent. I'm not going to be nobody's parent. And I'm not going to babysit grown ass motherfucking women on the app. Which one who take their phone and put them in timeout? I wish the fuck I would. Sip Nation do the fuck they want to do. Because guess what? If you can't hang with that, if that's too barbaric for you, get the fuck out of Sip Nation. Drop your fucking bag today. If you can't take it. If you can't hang. If you can't take the motherfucking heat, get out the kitchen. Because this the sip, this is the fuck we cooking. Don't tell me about, I don't want to hear about somebody talking about you or what they said. Cuss their fucking ass out. Get out there. Go fight their ass back. Or get the fuck on. Because I'm not going to do a bitch ass thing. This ain't something I'm thinking about. This ain't something I'm dreaming about. This is something I live. This is on my wall in my house. I put that up there. This is my shirts. I walk around this motherfucker, a, a, a 30 year old man with green hair, because I live it. A bitch can't tell me nothing. So don't come to me because they ain't saying this about you. They talk about your teeth. Bitch, your teeth crooked. Fuck it. I'm fat. I don't give a fuck. They talked about my teeth. They talked about my You let fucking sister them? Get the fuck off of Beagle. Because the bitch you got over there can't help you. The only person can help you if you stand up for your fucking self sometimes. Get the fuck off this app. This ain't for you. Sip Nation certainly ain't for you. Because then I refuse. I'll kick a bitch out the world for going to help a bitch talk about got a bitch back. If the bitch ain't got a tongue, shut the fuck up. If you can't talk to a bitch back, shut the fuck up. This is the wrong app for you. Don't come telling me no shit like that. King David, you was a flop. You was a faggot. You dusty. You have nothing. You the only dumb bitch on the app teaching scam classes telling the bitch, this motherfucker charged y'all a shield to teach you how to get an Obama phone. Bitch, we can't. They got iPhone 13s now. You really did that? Girl, I and a motherfucker was sitting there. Oh, yes, I got my Obama phone. Thank you. Bitch, at least Taylor was teaching us how to scam iPhones. Bitch, girl, I saw that. I said, this can't be real. Motherfuckers come to Beagle expecting a motherfucking sanctuary. That's like me going my fat ass to McDonald's. That's like me going my fat ass to Popeye's and say, give me a Big Mac. And then get mad with Popeye's because they don't have them. That don't make no fucking sense. You're fucked up, not me. The best thing I'm glad, I'm glad I'm, so listen. Let me just tell y'all something. 
Cause see with the fake thing y'all can't This is why you can't take Sip Nation Cause it's too real for you It's too gritty for you You can't stand in the kitchen You can't You can't be here This ain't for you sis Both of them hoes you y'all can't cut it in real life, so definitely you come to the app and try to cut it and realize you can't even cut it here because you can't cut it in Sip Nation because it's too close to real fucking life. I'm not gonna tell a grown ass woman to stop, stop talking about you. You tell a grown ass woman to stop talking to you. Go to her face and say, "Bitch, I will punch the fuck out you if you will stop talking about me." Or do and stand on it. That's what you do because that's what the fuck I would do. Sip Nation ain't dead, and nobody ain't gonna die. And if and if it do die, it gonna die here. Because this is this app was built for Sip Nation. That's what y'all feel, really. This app was built for us. This is our app. It was built for us. This was built for Sip Nation. We are not the number one family by numbers. We're the number one family by might. We gonna win all the time. We don't take L's. That's why we the number one family. Not because of the number. We ain't got that many people. And we ain't got all that motherfucker. We we the number one by might. We got the fucking heart for this. We can stand on this shit. You can talk about us and we'll cuss you back out and forget you exist tomorrow. And we're going to still make our motherfucking money. That's what Sip Nation is. That's what you can't handle. That's what you couldn't cut. And that's what the fuck you're going to stop speaking of. Because it's not on your level. Stick to shaky fact. That's what the fuck you do. Stick to shaky fact. Because Sip Nation not in your league. It's not in your league. This is real. This is a real, listen, it's 2021, okay? People got real fucking issues. People got real fucking problems. People got real fucking things going on in their real fucking life. And they be, and, and, and Sip Nation ain't the type of motherfuckers that's gonna let no motherfucking app convolute or take them off course of the motherfucking mission. That's what the fuck Sip Nation is. That's what the fuck I teach. That's what I motherfucking, that's what the motherfucker, because with Sip Nation, we're not the whips, bitch. We're the warriors. Understand that all the women I'm talking about, all the men in Sip Nation, they're not every last one of them is a fucking warrior. They ain't no motherfucking wimp. We ain't gonna go cry to our mama. Tell them stop talking about me. You gonna cry to What the fuck Kate David gonna do? Tell me who started something from the ground up with my fucking blood spread and knuckles, working, working and blogging, beefing with millionaires? Motherfucking Super Sip put 10 racks on my head in New Orleans. And you think a motherfucker call an app and tell me how to be a founder? And you, you know this. You know this, Shelly. Super Set is a millionaire with a million followers and put racks on my head in New Orleans. And you telling me a motherfucker sitting behind a computer selling you an Obama phone gonna scare me or tell me what to do in life? Girl, I'll be fucked. I'm not the duck. You the duck. I ain't nobody daddy. I ain't nobody leader. You heard me? When I say it's me, I say it's us. But one thing about it is two days for motherfucking show. You couldn't fucking cut it. And all you bitches that can't cut it, leave quietly. Because this ain't what the fuck you want. I got a computer and I just told y'all, I just showed, I got to show y'all again. Because, see, he showed y'all a nasty, dust-ass MacBook from 1992 that don't even have fucking Wi-Fi on it. But let me show you my motherfucking computer, bitch. It got Windows 11, Windows 11 ain't even out, oh, out yet. That's the motherfucker I'm playing with. Look at that bitch. That bitch ready to go. Bitch, I will find your whole life on this motherfucker. I will find your grandma blood type, bitch. I know your uncle made a C in second grade chemistry. That's how cold I'm is. But I don't want to waste my time on you bitches because I got too much money to make because I'm in Sip Nation. <laughs> I'm in Sip Nation. They ain't kicked me out. I can cut it. Because when they talk about me, I'm going to talk about their ass back and call it a day. I'm in, I'm in Sip Nation. I'm in Sip Nation. <laughs> I, 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 I ain't begging on a ring of prayer or hallelujah. I want my girls to win. Cause if I need, cause if I fall, they got my back. I can say, bitch, come drop me ten dragons. They gonna come drop it without question. I ain't on the app right now. Don't y'all send no gifts. You know why? Cause they're all in positions to win. Then and if they call me and say, shake, I need ten. Guess what I'm gonna say, pop. How at you next month? So at the end of the day, <laughs> I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in a club. I'm stamped, certified, and verified, baby. You bitches trying. Don't do y'all do better just saying shake your fat and stuff. And worry about fucking a video Brian made three months ago, three years ago. 
That's what y'all do better worry about. Because coming for civilization, they're going to get it. That's not going to get it. Y'all not on levels. Y'all not, not in the same atmosphere. Y'all is wimps. We warriors. This is that what you want. Stick to me. Stick to me. Stick to my fat ass. Y'all got enough. I got, listen. Listen. Six months ago, I had seven stomachs. I'm down to six. Y'all got six more stomachs to talk about. Leave Civ Nation alone. <laughs> Success in person. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Shannon, you, you couldn't cut. I'm sorry. I wish my prayer, my prayer, I swear to God, my prayer and my wish is that the people that I, I apologize to see that that was the problem. We finally saw it. It took us a while. But see that that was the problem and could come back together and be in one accord like we were. Because let me tell you something. Sip Nation, the glory of Sip Nation was that we moved in unison. Even if we disagree, even if it was a, a, a misguided thing that was what it was, we still moved in unison. Y you know how it is like, okay, look, <laughs> me and you beefing. You my cousin, right? I can talk about you all I want. But if that bitch over there talk about you, we're going to jump that hole. And then we're going to fight our, ourselves after. That's where we was at. And that's what we need to get back to. That's my prayer. That's the only thing. And I, like I said, that's my fault. Because I let the duck quack too fucking long. I let death in them. I, 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 if Nola and Jim and I ain't want fuss, let them fuss. But when it comes to going against the bitch that we need to go against, we did what the fuck we had to do. I wish they called each other, talked to each other, something like that. The people that left Sip Nation, listen. You was following a duck. Listen, a duck that's following another duck. You got Shelly who's a duck, following King David who's a duck. He let she let her she let this duck lead her right on down the path of the my bad side. Somebody who I love turned to somebody who I disgusted by. She let a duck lead her to a path that I that's on my bad side. Don't be that duck. If you left Sip Nation, one thing you can say, you was never not getting what you were supposed to get. That's become my job, and I take owners of that. But you are always welcome to come back home because there's, be it ever so humble, this ain't the best house, but bitch, be it ever so humble, there's no place like home. I want y'all to know that Sip Nation is by far not there, and when and if I do come back to this app, I will wake it the fuck up like I always motherfucking do because it's as simple as pressing one motherfucking button. I love y'all. I want y'all to know that. I love y'all. Y'all was there for me. I don't, I don't, I'm not, I ain't born no silver spoon, bitch. I'm from the projects. You hear me? The projects. Not the projects, bitch. The projects because I'm a pro at it, bitch. I done slept on a motherfucking uh, park bench before. I couldn't afford food. Finette had to send me money to get a taco one Sunday because I had enough food to eat. And I like to eat food. This is who I was. I'm letting y'all know that. I talk my shit not because I'm, you know, I'm walking around with a, I'm walking around that with a little richer bitch. You heard me? Because a few, you know, because a few strategic moves. But bitch, I ain't always been there. So I know the struggle. I know the beginning. I know the end. And I know the motherfucking middle. But I know one thing. What you always gonna get from me and what you always gonna get from Sip Nation is that real. If you left, come back home. I love you. I don't want to see you go. I want to see you win. And I know for one thing, you're out there looking for something that you can't find when the real thing, the grass ain't always greener on the other side. When you had the real thing right here, it wasn't the best. It was just the real. See, I never said it's going to be the best. I ain't never said it's going to be magic. I never said it's going to be easy. I said, I'm going to give you the real. Now you're going over there chasing fantasy and you're finding out this shit ain't fucking real. At least over there, the bitches ain't lied to me. The bitches ain't pissed on me and told me it was raining. They told me it was pissed the whole time. And that's what it is. I love y'all. I miss y'all too. Understand, I miss y'all. I am, you know, I'm doing what I have to do across the street. I need to do what I got to do. But at the end of the day, I, I do, trust me, I do pop in. I do see what y'all doing. I see the work y'all putting in. And I thank y'all for keeping it. But one thing we never going to do, we listen, we like baby kids, bitch. We die, we don't die, we multiply. I'm going to go ahead and, end the, it's this fucking, it's this fucking, this, this is what it is. This motherfucking right here. But anyway, I love y'all. I'm going to talk to y'all later because I, I just popped in to come and say, say what I'm in my little piece. If y'all need something, y'all holler at, y'all holler at Finette. I'm trying to convince Jim and I and you need to come back to the app, hopefully. If they could, I don't know. Because we need them. We need them. We need them. We need our people. We need our people. And and one day we could uh, get everything that we need to do, how we do it. But to them haters and to them bitches that's always worrying about the fuck Sip Nation got the, going on, bitch, you don't fucking qualify. You couldn't cut it to being Sip Nation. That's why the fuck you where you at, chasing ducks.